During the Time 100 Gala on Thursday in New York City, Brittany Mahomes gave a sneak peek at her toned abs. The 28-year-old mother of two dismissed allegations that she was fake and disloyal to Taylor Swift, her new best friend, as she walked the red carpet with her NFL player husband, Patrick Mahomes. Brittany looked stunning with a high-waisted black skirt and a shiny silver halter crop top embellished with rhinestones. She topped off her ensemble with picture-perfect glam. Her blonde hair was done into a stunning updo, with a few strands left to frame her face. Brittany added more jewelry, including matching earrings and bracelets made of silver. Taraji P. Henson served as the event's host, and the quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs is among the notable recipients. Her spouse Patrick, with whom she got married in 2022, looked dapper in a traditional black suit and a black dress shirt with the collar slightly undone. The football player, who plays professionally, accessorized his left wrist with a watch and donned a pair of stylish black sneakers. Shortly before the ceremony started, the couple took many pictures together on the red carpet. Notably, Patrick, who won the Super Bowl in February of this year, made it to the 2020 four-time 100 list. They were observed interacting with rapper 21 Savage inside the event. Brittany's participation at the star-studded gala comes just after it was reported by sources that Patrick's wife is a desperate opportunist and disloyal to Swift. Insiders are doubting how close they are, with some speculating that Mahomes has been more eager than Swift to give the public the impression that they are close. Swift, who recently joined the Kansas City Chiefs as a WAG, supported her tight end boyfriend Travis Kelsey at Wisconsin's Lambeau Field Stadium in December by showing off her eye-catching red coat. Ever searching for Easter eggs hidden by the pop sensation, sharp-eyed Swifties saw right away that the jacket seemed to belong to Mahomes, quarterback Patrick's wife. As it happened, the women appeared to be inseparable as they hung out in the stadium stands, down shots for the Jumbotron, and danced at wild after parties. When Mahomes and Swift were seen out and about with Gigi Hadid, Sophie Turner, and Selena Gomez in November, it looked as though Swift had even welcomed Mahomes into her exclusive circle of celebrity friends. When Mahomes appeared in skimpy bikinis for Sports Illustrated in February, she expressed her surprise to the publication at getting picked for the photo shoot. Never in my wildest dreams, Swift murmured, making what many took to be a charming allusion to one of her most well-known songs. However, experts now think that the bond is beginning to fray. When Mahomes starred in an ad for Kim Kardashian's underwear line, Schemes, there were early hints of trouble in Pal Paradise. The holidays start with Schemes, Britney captioned the promotional photos she posted to her own Instagram in November, featuring herself alongside Patrick and their two kids, all dressed in comfortable Christmas jammies. Naturally, Swift and Kardashian have been embroiled in a heated battle for years that doesn't seem to be ending. A diss track seemingly directed at Kim was included in Swift's upcoming album as recently as last week. According to insiders, some close to Swift found it, incredibly odd, that Mahomes led the effort. It genuinely demonstrated her devotion to her pals. The source said, and Britney chose money over friendship, which says a lot. Regarding the intimacy between the two, the insider stated that Mahomes is merely behaving like Taylor's best friend because Taylor wants to be recognized and not just be considered an NFL player's trophy wife. She has made a lot of effort to become part of Swift's social circle. Another source claimed that Mahomes's betrayal of Skim is particularly telling, saying, she has wanted to be relevant for so long and finally found her in. That source claimed, She has too many warning signs and people are beginning to see through her phony and bitchy persona. She is obviously not a girl's girl. She is an opportunist. It is acknowledged that Swift is too busy to recognize Mahomes' actions for what they are and that the two haven't spent any time together since the February Super Bowl. Insiders also draw attention to a string of nasty tweets that Mahomes sent about Swift years ago. Taylor Swift, I wanna know when you're gonna find something different to write about than boys and relationships hashtag time for something new, writes Mahomes in one from 2012. 
According to a source, Mahomes will undoubtedly argue that she likes Taylor's music now and chalk up the tweets to the conduct of a foolish adolescent. It seems that these justifications won't cut it. The insider stated, It just doesn't sit well with Taylor's friends. People are beginning to see through Brittany's bullshit. Brittany would still be talking s asterisk asterisk asterisk, without a doubt, if Taylor hadn't started dating her husband's teammate. Although Mahomes had not yet replied to demands for comment as of this writing, a public spat with Swift would undoubtedly not be Mahomes' first public gaffe. She faced harsh criticism in February when she appeared to continue Kansas City's post-Super Bowl festivities following a horrifying shooting that left one person dead and over 20 injured during the Chiefs' victory parade. Only hours after the attack, many of the victims were still in serious condition. Mahomes was seen grinning and having fun with food and beverages at a dive pub. And there's her alleged handling of the staff. Fans denounced Mahomes' high horse demeanor in January after it seemed that a video clip showed her talking dismissively to a stadium worker. After a game, Mahomes is shown in the video strolling with her spouse when she suddenly asks a staff member, Where do we go from here? while circling her finger. After the video went viral, Rumors about the star's previous actions began to circulate. Notably, TikToker Jessica O'Connor asserted that she had previously worked at a Hollywood hotel that Britney had visited in 2022 without leaving gratuities for the workers. In our initial meeting, she overcharged me by over $100. Patrick was not present, but she was accompanied by her entire entourage. According to O'Connor, their account was well over $100 if not $130, with no gratuity. Then, in the comments section, several people who also claimed to have worked with Mahomes increased the pressure. One claimed to be able to confirm. I worked as a bottle server at a Kansas City nightclub, and this also fully describes my experience. Undoubtedly, Mahomes leads an exceptionally opulent existence. Patrick reportedly earns $53 million annually in addition to running her own fitness business, and holding a sizable share in the Kansas City Current women's soccer team. In addition to a 50-yard football field, the Mahomes' expansive $8 million mansion in Kansas City has an indoor basketball court, a home gym, a movie theater, a pool, and a golf course. In addition, there's a $5.5 million vacation home in Texas and numerous far-flung international excursions.